<laughs> Throughout the course of history, traditions of patriarchy strongly persisted, and women were constantly being suppressed in society by the dominant men. This pattern can also be applied to the history of art as well. In art, the only artists that were considered good were men, and women that attempted to go into the field of the arts were neglected and labeled as pathetic. Artemisia Gentileschi was one of the first female artists to break the stereotype, completely changing the norms of art in society. She incorporated great amounts of feminism into her artworks to protest against the standards that men place on women in art. It was a bold move to even enter the arts as a career, since women artists were typically excluded. For example, women weren't ever considered serious artists no matter how much effort they put in or how many works they created, and they were merely treated as sex objects. The background of hers contributed to the feminism that she decided to portray with her career. She once said, My illustrious lordship, I'll show you what a woman can do. This one sentence perfectly summarizes the purpose of her artworks. Many of her artworks displayed feminism and the importance of women in society, especially the artworks Judith, The Birth of St. John, and J.L. and Cicero. These Italian Baroque paintings are all oil on canvas and use similar techniques to, that help convey the underlying feminism seen in the paintings. This painting is based off of a biblical story. The Jews are fighting against the Syrians and they were losing very badly and were about to surrender. Judas snuck into the Assyrian camp to save the Jews from the defeat. She seduced a man named Holofernes, a Syrian general, and cuts off his head, leading to the victory of the Jews. The viewer can immediately see the empowerment of women in this painting. It depicts two strong women, Judith and Abra, killing Holofernes by slicing his head off. The contrast between the light and the shadow reveals the strong muscles of the little two women while they are holding Holofernes against his bed. There is incredible realism in this painting with the incredible details seen in the linings of the bed and the blood dripping from Paulo Fern's neck. The subjects are brought out to be the focal point of the painting because of the dark black background that brings out the figures. This painting is typical of Italian Baroque art since it has dramatized the deliberate killing of Paulo Fern's. In addition, exaggerated lighting is used to set the tense, dramatic mood of the painting. Judith and Avra's facial expressions also really reveal a lot. Instead of grimacing and recalling from the bloody act, like the Judith and Caravaggio's painting did, Gentileschi's Judith does not flinch at all and goes through the act without regret. This shows how Gentileschi incorporated feminism in her, in her painting. The fact that Judith did not recoil from the act shows how empowered and strong she was both mentally and physically. The same message can be seen from Abra's stance in Artemisia's painting. Instead of merely being a side piece, Abra is aggressively shoving Holofernes down against his bed. This shows that Artemisia uh, gave women in her painting strength and functionality instead of being an object of beauty like in other paintings. Another major detail that helps convey feminism in her paintings is the fact that the two women are killing a man and overcoming him with pure physical strength. Hollow Friends is hopeless as he is locked down against his bed by Judith and Abra, making it look like the two women are stronger than Hollow Friends. Art Artemisia painted this so that the message that women could overpower men was clear. This reveals her strong belief that women were just as able as men, if not more. Artemisia painting the woman to have a purpose and function in paintings, adding on to the feminism in the painting. It shows she was advocating, advocating for society to accept the fact that women were more than just objects to admire, and they also had a strong purpose and important place in society. This painting is part of a series that illustrates the life of St. John the Baptist commissioned in Naples. There were four chapels that was dedicated to the saint in Madrid. This specific scene depicts the birth of John, seen in the Bible in Luke 1, 5-80. Zacharias and El Elizabeth were too old to have children, but an angel named Gabriel appears and tells them that they are expecting a baby named John. This scene specifically shows the beginning of St. John the Baptist's miraculous life. However, the painting focuses less on the biblical story that is portrayed and focuses more on the woman that took part in the story. The composition of the painting makes the midwife seem like the focal point, not the baby itself. You can see some elements of linear perspective in the painting with the hallway and the chair leading to a vanishing point off the canvas. The painting overall is painted with earthly tones of brown. The cluster of women are in the foreground, with the men sitting at the back of the table and the left less significant, blending him with the shadows of the room. This painting gives the woman action instead of making them motionless and poised. Just like in the other painting, the midwives painted in this one have a function and a purpose and aren't just objects of beauty. This builds on Artemisia's underlying message that women are more than what men label them as. 
The woman standing in the back has built arms, conveying that her physical ability is equal to a typical man in that society. The painting is dominated by women to convey Gentileschi's stress on the important role that women play in society. The whole painting is about the typical duties and jobs of women to show that their role in society should not be undermined. This painting also depicts a story seen in the Bible. The woman in the painting is Yael, who lured the man named Sarah into her tent and killed him in his sleep by driving a nail into his head with a hammer. The man and the woman take up all the space in the foreground, causing them to be the focal points of the painting. The background is less detailed than the actual people, and is covered in shadows to keep the attention on Yael and Sarah. Yael and Sarah are painted with great detail, seen in their clothing, and attention to lighting, creating the depth that makes them look three-dimensional. Motion is implied in this painting as Yael has her arm raised like she is about to swing the hammer down on the nail, placed by Sarah's neck moments before the first hit. Feminism is clearly seen as painting right away since a woman is overpowering and killing a man. Artemisia uses similar techniques like those in her other paintings, such as Judith, to convey feminism. For example, she paints, she paints the woman in both paintings to be built and has her muscles in the, for, in the arms noticeable to show the reader that women are also capable of the same things that men are. However, one difference from this painting and her other ones is that the woman does not show the same fierceness and passion. Some critics say this is why the painting is deemed one of her worst pieces. However, the woman's different expression can be seen as an expression of mental strength. Instead of letting her emotions be seen and exposed, like in other paintings, the woman is calm and poised, making the viewer infer that she's not, she's not insane and that she is collected. This is used to show how a woman can also be mentally equal to men, if not stronger, adding on to the feminism seen in the paintings. The paintings Judith and Jael and Sarah both show men being the culprits and the women being the heroes. This evidently conveys feminist ideas like women are just as qualified to be the quote-unquote hero of the day, as men are, and the like, stereotype that society places in women, implying that women are incapable of doing anything, is completely false. All three paintings portray moments in the Bible where women play large roles, and this is done deliberately to emphasize women in society, instead of neglecting them like a society in Artemisia's day. In addition, the three paintings portray feminism with the illustration of the woman's hands. In other Italian Baroque paintings, women's hands are painted to be delicate, soft, graceful, and still. However, in Artemisia's paintings, the hands are painted to be very competent and functional, with, ver with very strong wrists and, wrists and forearms. They symbolize women's power to act upon the world, establishing the theme of female power. Unlike the traditional portrayal of female hands, these are painted to be set in motion to represent female agency. Overall, Artemisia Gentileschi strongly emphasized feminism through her paintings, particularly Judith, the birth of St. Paul, and Yael and Sarah. These paintings portray women as strong, independent women who defy the social norms of society. Artemisia's main goal through her painting was to break the gender stereotypes and to show the world what women were actually capable of.